Hey guys, I'm Bryson here, and today we're going to talk about exactly how to invest a small amount of money or a large amount of money, but the whole goal is how to actually go ahead and multiply the money and when should you actually invest it. And that's why in this video, I'm going to break down three little key details when it comes to investing, and that is compound interest, dollar cost investing, and how exactly to go out there and time the market. And by the way, guys, if you're new to my channel, guys, I post on this channel every single day. So make sure to also turn that down, hit the bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And on top of that, also destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you guys so much. Now, the very first thing I have to break down is this, okay? I want to ask you exactly what type of investor you actually are. And comment down below and let me know. You're either someone that has, for example, a large amount of money, a thousand dollars or more. Tell me, but that's not a lot of money. The answer is the average American does not have a thousand dollars in liquid savings or even in liquid check-ins, okay? Now, if you have that much money, the idea is usually, hey, I have all this money. I don't know if I want to invest it all at once or little by little, and I don't know exactly when to invest that money. However, if you have a small amount of money, anywhere from $5 to literally $1,000 or less, the answer is, well, although you have a small amount of money, you can still invest that money. But the idea might be, hey, I have a small amount of money. It's not really gonna make me any money in the future. And in the end, if you notice, guys, the whole idea of people with a large amount of money, or for example, a small amount of money, the goals are still the same. All you want to figure out is exactly, well, how much money is my money going to make me? How often should I be investing my money? And lastly, when do I actually invest the money? And how exactly do I actually time the market? And that's why for this video, it applies to people who have a lot of money or a little bit of money. At the end, it doesn't matter because the goals are still the same for every single investor out there. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is basically compound interest and how it actually works. Now, when it comes to compound interest, you don't need to learn the formula or anything like that. All you need to do is just go on Google and type in compound interest calculator and you're going to get a bunch of options. Now, the one I use right now currently is called Money Chimp. So right now, I'm gonna show you guys on my phone and I'm gonna show you guys a calculation of how much money you can actually make by investing either a large amount of money or for example, a small sum of money. Now, right here, as you can see, guys, it's my phone. I typed it out on Google. And the second option is called Money Chimp. And that's my favorite one. And that's the one I'm going to use here. By the way, it's very simple. And that's why I use it, okay? That's the entirety. I'm not sponsoring anything like that. Now, the idea is this, guys, okay? Say, for example, all you have to invest is $100 per month. That's $25 per week, or for example, $3.50 a day to actually go out there and invest. And if you tell me, tell me, I don't have $3 to invest, the answer is just go out there and sell literally anything around your house, and you can easily make yourself an extra $3.57 per day. It's not that hard. So say for example, currently, your current principal is $0, meaning you don't have any money invested right now whatsoever. However, let's say, for example, every single year, you're adding an additional $1,200, meaning that $100 times 12 months, one year, is going to be $1,200 every single year, just by investing $3.57 per day. That's how cool investing is, okay? So basically, you're going to invest $1,200. Now, say, for example, you're going to give this money, you started at, for example, age 18, and you're going to wait until you're literally like 65 years old to take this money out. So literally around 47 years. Tell me that's a long time. I know, but I want to show you exactly how compound interest actually works. So say, for example, you're going to be investing your money over 47 years, and you're also expecting to make around an 8% return every single year. Now, tell me why 8%? Well, the answer is if you invested into the S&P 500, the index fund. The idea is over the past 30 to 50 years, data shows that after inflation, you're making around a 8% return. And that's why right now I'm using an 8% return. It's not a random number, okay? It's according to data. So here's the thing. You might say, Tommy, okay, 100 bucks a month is not gonna make me that much money. But in reality, by the time you retire, let's click calculate here, you're going to have around $500,000 invested just like that by only investing three dollars and 57 cents or 56 cents every single day and that is the cool thing about compound interest however again guys that is a small amount of money 
Say, for example, you went out there and you did $500 a month, okay? By the way, I want you guys to go on this website and I want you guys to experiment with numbers to see exactly how much money you can actually invest, how much money you'll get back, and that way you know exactly how to keep track of your goals. But if you invest in 500 bucks for 25 years, well, after those 25 years, you're going to have around 473 thousand dollars and that's the idea half the time but you're investing a lot more money and say for example you said well tommy i'm going to invest 500 dollars for 47 years also well at the end of those 47 years you're going to have around 2.9 million dollars and that's how compound interest works. In the beginning, the first 10 years or so, it's like, okay, it's kind of going slow. But after that, that's when the money starts to grow and grow and grow. And overall, guys, my point for compound interest is that either if you have a small amount of money or a big amount of money, not doing anything with it whatsoever is the wrong idea. The idea is go out there and invest that money. And over time, because of compound interest, with a little bit of time and patience, that money is going to grow whether it's a small amount or a large amount. And by the way, if you don't know what to invest into, I'm gonna show you guys my full portfolio and I have a link down below to that video. And by the way, it's also free. There is no course. All the information is out there and I show you exactly how I invest all of my money. Now that we covered exactly how compound interest works and you know about the calculator online for free, well, now let's talk about, well, Tommy, what exactly is dollar cost average and why is it important? Well, if you don't know what dollar cost average is, you probably heard about this other term by a lot of YouTubers that always use it, but it means the same thing as dollar cost average. And that term is basically drip investing. And the whole idea is that what you're doing is instead of investing a lump sum of money, a lot of money all at once, all you're doing is you're investing over time. For example, every single month you're investing a certain amount of money, the same amount of money usually, and that way you average out the price you actually buy those investments at. So for example, one month you buy at a dollar, next month you buy at a dollar 25, the next month you might buy maybe at 75 cents, but the answer is you're going to get the average and that way you're not really worried about the market going down or going up like crazy because at the end of the day, you're investing consistently consistently and you're going to get the average and that's basically what dollar cost average is or for example drip investing now now i want to paint you guys a picture say for example you have a large amount of money a lump sum of money okay and the idea is you either got it from a bonus at work you won the lottery you inherited it or for example you just got lucky or maybe you even saved that amount of money and now you're finally thinking about investing now you might say tommy do i do dollar cost average or for example do I invest all that money at once? Which one is the best idea? Well, the answer is this, guys, okay? According to research done by Vanguard, the idea is that if the market is going up, the pro is that you get exposed to that right away. So if you invest right then and there, all that money, and the market goes up, basically, you're going to make a lot of money right then and there in the short term. And that's the cool thing. However, if you invest when the market is going down, well, in reality, that can be a huge risk for you. And you might say, Tommy, well, you know, I just want to invest all at once, get it over with. The answer is, I don't really recommend it. And here's why. Say, for example, you invested back in February. Now, as you guys know, it's 2020 now, but back in February, everything was fine, right? But then when March came and the pandemic actually happened, the stock market went crashing. So if you invested a large amount of money in February, by March, you would have lost a ton of money. And that's why investing a lump sum of money is very risky. But that's not all, guys, because basically no one tells you this, but I'm about to tell it to you guys right now. Say, for example, just for simplicity, you invested a hundred dollars back in February, but all of a sudden, okay, all of a sudden, your money drops, your investment drops by 50%, meaning that you go from having a hundred dollars to only having $50. Now you might say, Tommy, okay, wow, but the market already recovered. The answer is, can you guess exactly how much your investments would have to go up to basically go back to having a hundred dollars? You might say, well, if it dropped by 50%, all I need is 50%, but in reality, Guess what happens, guys? If your investments increase by 50%, well, guess what? 50% of $50 is only $25. So you're sitting at $75. You're still not even cutting it even. So in reality, to go back to $100, guess what happens? You have to go up by over 100%. And that is the risk right there. 
of doing lump sum investing. But again, over time, according to Vanguard and the research that she did, it shows that basically in the end, although you dropped to 50%, in the end, in the long run of like 30 to 50 years, your money will go back to a positive. But the answer is you don't really want to experience this type of risk by investing in a lump sum of money. However, if you invested one month, 50 bucks in February, the next month in March, $50. The next month, for example, April, $50. The answer is by doing this, you're buying at the average price for every single month. And at the end of the year, you get the average price. That basically means you're not exposing yourself to market drops and that way you don't have to worry about it. So let me tell you exactly what I do guys, okay? Basically, I invest every single month around five hundred dollars and the idea is that whether the market is down whether it's up i'm going to invest a minimum of five hundred dollars because again what i do is called dollar cost average or for example drip investing but in special circumstances whenever i see for example the market is down like crazy maybe by 50 percent or maybe like 25 percent i grab for example double or 10 times the money and i go ahead and i invest it for that month Next month, I do the same thing if the market is still down, and I keep doing that until the market goes right back to normal. Now, tell me, why do you do this? Well, the answer is, guys, when you're investing for the long run, any type of negative on your account is basically seen as a discount on your investment. So basically, whenever the market is down, for me, everything's on sale. So what do I do? I buy a lot more, and that's why my portfolio right now is up around 21% because I invested around $20,000 when the whole market was actually at its bottom. And that is the idea. However, I have to be honest here. The main risk is that basically, say for example, the market was actually going down for maybe for example, 10 years or five years. The risk is that I'm investing a lot of money for a very long time at a loss. Now that's fine because at the end of the day, I'm gonna invest in for the long run, but you might not want to deal with that. So the answer is just keep investing consistently, 50 bucks one month, 50 bucks one month, and keep doing that and keep doing that. And step by step, your money will continue to grow and you're also not exposed to the market basically going down like crazy. That is the core idea. So when you ask me, Tommy, lump sum of money or break it down, the answer is break it down and that's what I think you should do. But in the end, if you're okay with like emotional and all that stuff, in the end, you'll have a positive return. But in the short term, you can have a massive loss if you're not very careful. And that is the idea. And now guys, the last thing is basically, tell me how exactly do I time the market? I'm going to be 100% honest here guys, okay? There is no way to time the market. If anyone tells you, oh, I figured out a way to time the market, ask him this question. Why are you not richer than Warren Buffett? Because Warren Buffett says he can't time the market, but if you can, why are you not more richer than he is? The answer is, well, you know, I don't know, what, whatever, you know, whatever. And when a mutual fund tells you like, hey, we're trying to beat the market in mutual fund, the answer is ask him, how much are you charging me every single year in my asset portfolio value? Usually, it's one to 2%. I made a video talking about that, basically saying that it's gonna cost you a third of your investment. So all you really wanna do guys, as an investor, your job is not to time the market. Your job is to think about your time in the market, okay? You're not timing the market, it's all about the time you put into the market, investing for the long run, that 10, 20, 30, 40 years. I showed you guys that basically with 100 bucks per month, you can easily have a half a million dollars by the time you actually retire. If you invest more, you can have up to $2.9 million. The answer is, the more you invest over time, you already know the data. The data says that over time, you're going to get an average return of around 8%. Don't worry about the, hey, oh my gosh, you know what? Tesla's going up right now by 20%. Oh my gosh, the market has dropped by 20%. The answer is, the short term does not matter that much. And whenever your investments are actually down, your job is to basically go out there and invest more money because again, everything is on sale. And that is the core idea, guys. And if you ask me, Tommy, how do you do it? The answer is, what I do is, I use an app called Acorns, link down below, and I invested literally with five bucks when I first started, and that's the idea. I started small, I kept going and going and going, and now my portfolio is around like $66,000, but in Acorns, I have around $27,000. And my portfolio is called Moderately Aggressive. And if you wanna know exactly how I use Acorns, well, I'm gonna put a link down below to that video also. And again, that video is also free. All the information 
is also free for you, okay? And as always, guys, comment down below and let me know, was this video helpful and did it help you decide to either invest all at once or, for example, invest little by little? That was my job. Hopefully, I helped you. If I did, comment down below and let me know exactly how much you're going to invest and also play with the calculator and let me know exactly how much you'll have in 20 years or 10 years or maybe even 50 years, okay? Comment down below, let me know. I wanna read all the comments. And as always, if you enjoyed this video right here, guys, well, like this video. On top of that, also, destroy the subscribe button, the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And also follow me on Instagram, Ty Bryson. And on top of that, before I go, if you wanna watch a video about the basics of investing and how investing works, well, here's a video right here. And click my picture now. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And as always, peace.